Well, welcome to you. This is the home of Southampton Wireless and we're just an hour on the train from London. You might be familiar with Southampton because this is where the Titanic set sail on her fatal journey. But there's other things about Southampton. Marconi initiated his first experiments right across the Atlantic from the Isle of Wight, uh, which is on a 15-minute ferry ride from Southampton. So in recent years, we have created a little sequel of studies on ad hoc networking as well as on mesh networking and looking at multi-objective routing optimization as well as uh, cross-layer operation. And so allow me to perhaps just uh, introduce the basic concepts here very briefly uh, and then move on to the benefits of hierarchical modulation in the context of networking. So in this first study, in the IEEE Access Journal, we looked at the optimization of the delay as well as the power consumption and uh, ultimately we used an advanced non-dominated quantum iterative routing to strike a balance across three conflicting design objectives uh, with the aid of uh, non-dominated quantum iterative routing algorithms and found the so-called optimum Pareto fronts. In another study, again in the IEEE Access Journal, we actually looked at the network lifetime maximization and we then carried on and studied the benefits of hierarchical modulation in these diverse networking contexts. If the subject is of interest to you, please visit our website uh, given in this slide. And the paper gives you a broad based introduction to modulation and uh, historical perspective on the employment of hierarchical modulation in general. So one of the best known examples of hierarchical modulation can be found in broadcasting. And in this context, the high definition television standard exploits the fact that 16 QAM modulation has two different integrity subchannels. The base layer is uh, decodable at a significantly lower signal to noise ratio than the enhancement layer. So, for example, in the vicinity of the television station, it is possible to decode the high definition. A television signal, whereas in the uh, distant edges of the coverage area, only standard definition television might be feasible. Of course, other examples bring to mind. For example, uh, the small screens don't in general require a high definition because the resolution is relatively low. And by contrast, for example, uh, huge cinema style screens require much higher uh, resolution. So again, lots of interesting design trade-offs in this context uh, and the basic philosophy of hierarchical modulation is that 16 QAM is constituted by two different layers and there's a so-called base layer as well as enhancement layer. Now, in order for this to work in the context of high definition and standard definition TV, we would of course need video codecs which are capable of generating a base layer, which is absolutely necessary for flawless decoding. Uh, whilst the enhancement layers can be dropped, for example, in case of network congestion or when they get corrupted. Now, let's move on to the cross-layer optimization aspects of our treatise. So, in conventional routing, the simple philosophy is uh, that the information is sent through from the source node to the destination node after the route has been established, and the establishment of the route uh, exploits the fact that some of the nodes, like for example the red nodes indicated in this uh, top left hand corner, are unable to receive the signal at sufficiently high quality, uh, but the green nodes are capable of receiving appropriately and therefore they send the information through to the destination. Now, the operation of this traditional routing regime might be substantially improved 
we did of opportunistic relaying. And so, for example, the yellow nodes in the illustration indicate those uh, relay po potential relay nodes which are capable of uh, receiving the signal at an adequate quality. And again, the adjective adequate in this context may, might mean uh, different specifications depending on the overall optimization objective of the system. So this regime, of course, potentially gives us substantial diversity gains, uh, but it's also feasible to send the information through several relays, but this would, of course, uh, reduce the overall throughput of the network. So finally, let's look at the novel scheme that we proposed in this paper, where we exploit the hierarchical nature of the modulation scheme. And so the thick arrows indicate four bits per symbol transmissions, whereas the thin arrows represent two bits per symbol transmissions. And the two layers can be sent via different routes across the network. And there's a huge variety of design options in this context because we could aim for a better power efficiency or we could aim for a lower delay, which is critical, for example, in the context of the emerging tactile internet. But my hope is that I stimulated your interest sufficiently in the paper to look at the variety of future research ideas uh, pre presented in the paper. So I wish you uh, fun reading it.